hey guys welcome back to my channel and yeah it's me Cory. I do love to, ch to chit chat about my fountain pen collection or stationery or anything and everything about planners and journals so for today's video it's another ink related video and it's an exciting one for me because I'm in the hunt for the perfect blue black to me and my liking so if you're on the same page like I am um, I have now here are the cheapest finds for the blue black ink that you can find in the market so I'll do my best to get, uh, get you the links for these inks because uh, I got this locally so with no further ado these are three blue black inks from Hongdian um, sorry Jin Hao and um, Majon so these two are a big fountain pen makers as well these two brands and the Hongdian um, I don't have a fountain pen yet but I do believe they also manufacture or have products uh, fountain pen products so let us try to swatch these inks today um, I'm still I haven't even opened them and I also don't know which pens uh, to pair them up with so let us just enjoy seeing them on paper I have here with me my Galen leather everyday book um, it's for my ink filming journaling and whatnot like if I have a new pen I also use this to test it so let us do the smallest first the Majon one um, I think Jin Hao is the most popular one here so let's do it last cat please hold my kakimori brass nib <laughs> so this is the Majon it says 2023 I believe this is new one um, in the details that uh, in the cart in the listing I just know that this is a um, what you call that blue black ink so they don't have they don't have any particular model name um, to this where is my reliable cutter let me just cut this so it's faster and yeah let us see what my John ink looks like so this is not bad the packaging and the sticker is neat neatly done like that of a uh, sailor <laughs> uh, sailor line studio one two three sailor ink so good good packaging i mentioned the bottle because i like collecting bottle inks let's see for these chinese brands how good they can be where's my reliable towel it's here <laughs> i'm using an eyedropper before i use the kakimori so we can see the actual like the colors and the characteristics to it when it's with the window i mean the natural lighting so here we go this is the Majon ink so I'm not gonna put more let us just then spread this out um, let us try using Karina's way I have here a vial <laughs> we can spread it out Karina loves to plan when swatching is doing a thing like this oh no i think i've put a lot <laughs> so big anywho yeah let's wait for it to dry it's very obvious that i haven't done this before as you can see <laughs> it has a lot of ink there now i'm gonna dip my kakimoi brush nib to this and let us do the writing session also note that writing with kakimori and the actual fountain pen um, is very different so this can have a uh, more ink to it so this is the majon see it's very thick 
wait i want to get the spelling right <laughs> majan oh sorry let's just change that and let me just throw in some it has a lot a lot of ink there it's very thick ma john blue black I, I can only see in english 2023 so if you can read chinese guys i don't have the particular ink name okay and i believe this is if not 50 ml 30 ml no english at all so yeah this is our Majon blue black let me just do a, some curves here it's really really wet i know i've poured so much and this paper cannot even hold a two-sided one so you see it can bleed let us just wait for it to settle down and see the actual ink um, when it's dried in color now let's open the next one which is the Hongdian another Chinese brand okay so there is no mentioned um, 60 ml blue black oh generous for the price for the price guys um they are all below uh five dollars so it's i'm just thinking converting from rupiah to us dollar so i think one bottle would cost around three to four dollars only for this much amount and these are all fountain pen inks guys yeah these are not uh, the calligraphy inks so this is the blue black um of hongyan now for the shape of the bottle it's interesting <laughs> for a 60 ml and by the way just an additional i can smell something so if you are very sensitive something is smelling <laughs> there's an not an annoying smell but there is a smell okay so another blue black from hongdian this is way too much like a lot of ink so and it's cheap so let's see how cheap this can get so for cheap inks like this guys do you also use this with your normal pens fountain pens or you are you'd rather use them also in your chinese fountain pens i'm just curious because yeah these are dark inks so even though if it's not it didn't by the way say um anywhere that it's waterproof so we can waterproof test it as well might as well while we are here uh, now let's just drop a little bit lesson learned <laughs> so this is the hongdian and i've cleaned the vial and let's check again it's watery so okay i already dropped so little i hope we can see later on the the difference of each blue black inks so this is the hongyan once again hong i've dipped already to my kakimori to earth to the water so another blue this is a bottle of the blue black blue black inks guys <laughs> this is the 60 ml okay lines i'm slowly slowly seeing the colors and i think i like this one so if you are already very old to this hobby can you guys let me know how do they price these inks with the materials used or just by the name i know sailors pilots are very good inks hence the price but these chinese 
inks as well are not bad you know <laughs> but i just wonder what are these made of like pigment inks and all this stuff technical wise guys i don't go deep deep i just love the color by it that's it <laughs> So yeah, this is the Hongyan, the second of our three inks to swatch today. Bottled inks. I gambled it because they are just very, very cheap inks. The third, the last of our new bottled blue-black inks is the Jin Hao. It's dark blue, it says here. And yeah, fountain pen. So no other code, 5001 if you must know and let's open this up oh now let's that's another bottle design oh <laughs> Jin Hao is also having this the the logo of the Jin Hao is here so they made some effort i think among the three the Jin Hao is the expensive one i will just reconfirm but all three are just below five dollars so wait yeah bottle branding hmm not bad Jin Hao. so i guess they're a really big company 50 ml again let us now swatch our Jin Hao. so guys i am this is named as dark blue okay not blue black i'm sure some of you already have Jin Hao, and this is my first Jin Hao ink try and might as well get the bottle because I'm just cleaning my eyedropper so now it's not mixed with other see it's clear I like to use this eyedropper it's a glass from moon man so it's not difficult to clean compared to the plastic ones the color stays mm. let's get another little bit of drop so I'm seeing the Jin Hao as the brightest I think Bayao ha this is the typical blue that we always see in Lamy and Pilot basic blue but I like it because it's not the Konpeki, sorry Konpeki lovers there, but it's not as bright as that. Again, love, love, love. Okay, dipping time. Let's try this Jin Hao. I'm sure some of you already love this ink. I'm the <laughs> late again for the party. Jin Hao, dark blue. So, this is a category of the cheap pens, guys. Don't look for any expensive pens in this round. Because I know some of you will recommend a better dark, a better shade. But this is just for this level. So, I know I can see now which one is my favorite. Am I even off frame? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. There you go. Our three. Battle of the cheap blue black inks. <laughs> Chinese brands. There you go. So for the bottle design wise. I feel the premium look one is. The Hongyan. Oh no the Majon. I like the Majon bottles because first I don't need so much big bottles and then for the shade and yeah I like its simplicity um, compared to the Jin Hao it has this pattern and all branding and labeling but come on if this is like a, a Mont Blanc I need all your logo everywhere <laughs> but this is just Jin Hao and it's very very um, branded so well so much that it's for me it's overdone overdue so yeah this is my favorite for the bottles let's go on to the shades guys which one is your favorite 
the huh? Majon Blue Black, the Hongyan Blue Black, or the Jin Hao Blue Dark Blue. For me, I am still in doubt between these two because it has a little bit of sheen, the Majon, on this paper, yeah. And the Hongyan, the Blue Black, is just there's no sheen at all same with the Jin Hao it's not fully dried but my f this is like a storied blue darker version you know the for the the ferris wheel press my favorite is actually the Hong Dian I don't know why luckily it's the biggest one <laughs> so let me know your favorite guys um, don't think about the brand it's the shade because Jin Hao is the most popular and then Majon for fountain pens and Hongyan. Also, if you have any recommendation of a Hongyan fountain pen, I want to check it out because I don't have. Majon I have, I think, and Jinhao. So, this is my winner for now. The Hongyan Black. But I will keep updating you guys because this is very different when it's written in a Kakimori brass nib compared to the actual fountain pen nib so I first I have to decide which inks I'm gonna use it for I mean pens so there you go sorry for the ugliness <laughs> but yeah good that you can see it clearly it's really really big I made these big circles instead of small so let us let, um, I will let it dry first I hope you enjoyed today's video and let me know if you also like to try and explore other brands aside from the usual we know of and yeah this is my first for dark blue dark blues and blue blacks um, i don't have any plans in buying other shades at the moment i'm just looking for this perfect blue black dark blue shade because uh, i just want to use it as my basic colors aside from black so thank you guys for hanging out with me and i hope you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe it will really help my channel and support my channel and yes i'll see you on my next one bye guys